time it is... Mom's Chocolate Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Why don't you say Boom Shackalack around the Cedar Valley then? Okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the best show on the internet. And uh, yeah. Yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday. You've made it. That's right. Thank you for watching the best show on the internet. Yes, and we've had our technological ups and downs and forgetting stuff, but we're here, y'all. We're here to do what we do every Friday. Yeah. Yes, yep. yes. Well, let's get to it, Shaviva. We've got a great mm -hmm. show. I'm Rocky. And I'm Shaviva. And this is this North, North End, End Update. Update. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. We want to shout out our special frequent viewers, uh, Gabriel Benson, Charles Young, Amber Nosbitt smith Tina Paney. Bobby Colson, Paul Loveless, and Shiera, how do you say her name? Satira. Satira Hodges. And Kara's golden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, today our guests are going to be Brian Sink and of Brian's Blue Plate. Yes. And our city guru, Mayor Quentin Hart, will be joining us in just a minute. Yes, indeed. We want to thank you for making us the best show. On the internet, And yes. stay tuned to our Give It Air. Mm -hmm. We probably should just open up the shot. I'm not used to having the mayor sitting and waiting. I know. You know? <laughs> it's like it feels so strange. You read one line and I'll read the next. How about that? And Something there's Brian like that, too. yes. Okay, mayor's our co-host. Mm -hmm. So we got Brian here. It's all TV magic. We can do it how we want to. That's because right. We sit right in the middle of 4th Street. That's right. right. It's your city. It's your show. You've been around the world, right? Aye, 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 aye. That's right. <laughs> and Brian, we're so happy about this new show you got coming up. We're going to hear a lot more about that. It's exciting. Yes. yes, yes, in just a minute. In our talking point today, we're going to talk about setting boundaries, and I know you know how to do that. I do, I do. So you I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what about you? You know how to set some boundaries? Sometimes. I mm -hmm. know. It's a process learning how, but it's right. something Sometimes. everybody needs to do. Right. Yes. And you guys both know that we're celebrating six years of positivity from a North End perspective. And Brian, you missed the show. I mean, you missed the awards event. I did. I wasn't there. I but know. I love my award. It's beautiful. Do you? It's beautiful. Have you met Les Wyatt? I have not. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, he's not. kind of a big deal. It so. is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. good. Mayor, what did you think about the award ceremony? I have mine right upstairs. It was a great program, great tribute to a lot of good people. And uh, also, you two were the hosts with the most. So, appreciated oh. the opportunity. Oh, thank you. I yes, think Agnes has a few photos. I don't know if she show them. Some of the photos work. It was, the lighting was so, there's a couple of the awards. That's me. Oh, is that yours? Mm -hmm. Oh, my. And did you hang yours or did you set it up on the, um, there's the mayor getting his award? It's in my, in my office, so whenever I do a Zoom, you can see it in the backdrop. So. Oh, okay. nice. And there's Kent with his award. And unfortunately, Brian, you had to make some boundaries, you had to say, there's Travis with his award, mm -hmm. and you had to say no to Well, us. I was missing a key employee that night. So. Yes. You yes. have to do what you have to yeah. do. Well, I'm glad yes. you're here today, Brian. I know mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sacrifice anytime you get away from there, because I think that's all you do. I do a lot of it, yeah. You work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, we have our talking point today. And it is what should be, and it's brought to you by the Grout Museum. Yes, indeed. Make sure to check out their new exhibit, the Toy Box, Generations of Play. Um, but setting boundaries. We are talking about setting boundaries today for our talking point. And um, it can be as simple as sentences like, uh, I, can do, I can't do it, but I can help you find someone who can. Or, uh, I can't attend, but I appreciate you thinking of me. Or, mm, I'm not really interested, but thanks anyway. What are some of your? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> how do what you are, actually say no? How do I say no? Um, kindly. I know, <laughs> like, it's hard. Like, like she just said, you want to do it, but you can't do everything. So you always try to, try to find win-win solutions for people. So mm -hmm. just in the way that you described it is the way I try to do it as well. How about you, Brian? Do you delegate? Do you it's, no, it's hard for me. To, it's hard for me to say no to oh. things. Yeah, I have, I have a hard time with that. You so. know, I had a hard time, too, for a long time. Mm -hmm. But then I just started saying no. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nope. And you know what I found out, too? 
because I'm kind of seasoned. And once you get our age, you kind of figure out how to do these things. But you really just um, you figure out how to not do things by just saying no, I guess, you know, and you, mm -hmm. and you, and people, okay, so here's the thing with me. I never, and now that Come I'm Come on, retired, let's hear it, let's okay, hear it. We listen. <laughs> if everyone out there is listening I to this. Yeah. <laughs> retired now for quite a while. So I don't like, I used to be on committees and boards. Shaviva, you go on board. She'll yes, join a board so, in a minute. Mm -hmm. But me, I usually just kind of try to stay home and take care of things that have to do with North End Update because um, I don't like people thinking I'm gonna be a certain place at a certain time because before people have had to wait for me. And then they're sitting, everybody's sitting around the table, where's Rocky? Now they don't sit around the table because I'm not coming. But, but you're also a resource though, right? So if someone says, hey, we need uh, someone to come in and help uh, do this, you may not be able to do it, but maybe you can direct it to some, someone else. I think sure. with any of this conversation about creating boundaries, you don't want to be on so many boards or so many different committees that you are yes. no good to that committee yes. to where you're barely holding on and you can't mm -hmm. give any input or do anything additional. And so that's a situation I find myself in sometimes. So I kind of take a step back and I'm like, okay, I can't do it, but um, well, I know who to call now. You're still, <laughs> you're still at that age where you need to be there and do things, and, and you want you want to stay busy. Not me. I'm yeah. past that. It finally and dawned you, on me that I get the same 24 hours that everybody yes. else gets, and so um, you know there comes a point where certain things, just as you said, Mayor, um, you want to be effective in the right. things that you are committed to. So you can't say yes to everything. So I've you know. seen you back down too. I have to. How about you, Brian? You say it's not even hard for you. It's, it's hard for me. It uh, is. Because I'm in the service industry. Oh, and so sure. it, it, the right answer is always yes. Okay. And then you kind of have to back backwards engineer it to, to make it a no. <laughs> uh, uh, you I know, see. Disguised yeah, a as a yes. Of, a couple of years ago, I was on like 20, 25 mm. different boards. I mean, you get to the point where you don't even get to see your children. Right. Because uh, you're constantly doing other things. So it does require some type of balance. And uh, hopefully people understand that. Yes. And know that you're an adult and it's okay mm -hmm. to say no. So hopefully somebody needed to hear that. Do we have any comments on that, Ed? Anybody got an input? No, no comments. No comments. Okay, so we're going to move right along to our give it air. This is a tough one now. This is all about the skin we're in and when can we be judged by the content of our character, um, knowing that being black in America kind of sometimes means that you're being prejudged um, before you even meet someone. Absolutely. I've had it happen to me, and, and I've often talked about um, how I raised my son to kind of be nice to, okay, I always use the example of Bridges because my dad used to live there. And Travis was a tall black man and all these little older <coughs> white people would be scared, terrified of my son just because he got on the elevator. And this is, he didn't know that he was terrifying. So here's my advice to him, Travis, smile, be polite because you're scaring the little white people. And he's, and you know, we think, I think that's, I know I just, <laughs> I say things differently than other people, but that's, and he tells me now he's glad that I said that, that I taught him that because he didn't know that people looked at him because he was black in a different way. And it's just a fact of life. And that's the, the talk that I think black parents have sometimes. Yeah, it is. It's sort of a, a coping mechanism that, that you have to come up with, but um, there are, we, we end up getting confronted right? with situations such as with this young man, uh, Ralph Yarl, who got shot for knocking on the door or ringing the bell or whatever that happened. He was trying to pick up his uh, siblings. Yes. And no, no warning, no anything. You just showed up black. That's it. That's it. And you got shot. And so for all of the talk about uh, judging people by the content of their character, instead of the color of their skin, sometimes that goes out the window. And so that's something I think we really need to, as a, a nation, mm. do a better job of con confronting because what? What are you supposed to just like become invisible or? No, stay black. That's oh, one yeah. of our give it airs next time though. What are your thoughts on this whole incident? If you have any to yeah. say, Brian. Last night, uh, Coach Brett Carmichael mm -hmm. shared a story with uh, the people that were uh, at 
the first half of his fundraiser. And his son uh, was autistic, and Brett raised him as a single parent. And Brett is black, uh, so he's had that talk with his son. But it's compounded by the fact that his son is autistic. Mm. So they were pulled over uh, by the police at some point when the son was younger. And the son got out of the car quickly and created a commotion. And so all the same factors that we're talking about with this incident mm -hmm. kind of came into play, plus a young man who wasn't clearly interpreting what was going on right. around him. So it yeah. is, uh, and, and, and that's why he started his foundation that's created a, a, a decal to put on your car or your home if you have an autistic child to help the police or the first responders understand that there's something going on. Yeah, so it's or, not the same situation, but it's related to it. He, you know, the, the fact that he and his son were black and were pulled over by the police was different. And than difficult. If, different sure. than if my son and I had been pulled over by the police. And that's, right. that's a tough thing to, to get or to relate to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just making yeah, sure you're mic'd up. Thoughts on this topic? Just there? really quickly, just to reiterate a point. It'd be can't wait for the days where we're judged on the content of our character, not uh, the color of our skin. And it, you know, folks are preconditioned to have a certain response based upon what color you are. But we also have to pre help our give our children a pre-response based upon their color of their skin. So uh, it'd be good to get to that day where it's the content of our character that people judge. Yeah, and I love your optimism, and, I, and I'm always trying to be optimistic as well, but I feel like, you know, throughout my life it's just been the same way. Um, I don't know if there'll ever be a change, because we started so far in the hole with slavery, but then that's a hole. I didn't say it would happen. I said no, it would be good. It would be good. I really don't right. think it can happen. I'm sorry. I just we all we I think what we can do though is this, and on a one-on-one -on -one level, you know, because as and any groups, I mean, protests. I'm claiming help. it. It can happen. Absolutely. You're claiming yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, it can happen. It has to. Okay. Okay. We're gonna end on that. It's gonna happen. All right. We're gonna end on that. We're gonna begin on that. There you oh, go. starting yes. point. I love it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to talk about how you've been around the world. My, my, my. <laughs> okay, okay. Tell us about your trip, Mayor. You just got back well, from where? Israel. Had a chance to go to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. um, go and see some of the old religious historic sites, learn about Israel as a whole, as a, um, a country. Had an opportunity to go to Tel Aviv. Um, and learn, met mayors, educators, theorists, uh, community activists, um, just met a wealth of different people and learning about how they're living, what's going on with their um, country. And as you can see, there are some challenging times that are there right now, but uh, very beautiful, very historic. So I was very grateful to be uh, a part of the trip. That's what I was going to ask, if there was any sort of protest and unrest going on while you were over there. There was. Okay. Uh, it was mostly due to the conversations regarding um, the structure of the national government, whether it was moving to a constitution or moving to this group, having control in the political uh, infrastructure. That's where there was a lot of um, uh, protest taking place. But after that, um, it ended up being some back and forth based upon what happened uh, at a synagogue and what happened in between um, the Palestinians and Israel. So, yeah, it got, got a little bit heated. There were protests. The night we left, um, I think there were about 600,000 people protesting in the street at that wow. time. But and then, So, got a chance to hear some of the underbelly of what was happening, why it was happening. So. That yeah, was really good. And, you know, I think it was like 14, 15 years ago. So uh, Tel Aviv is along the Mediterranean. 14, 15 years ago, I had a chance to go to um, Egypt. Mm -hmm. And so I was fortunate enough to be on both ends of the Mediterranean, um, seeing different perspectives in the way that people think and feel and uh, live. Yes, yes. What was the, what was the actual focus of the, the trip that you took? 
It was an educational trip with mm -hmm. the American Jewish Coalition, uh, an opportunity for, I think, the mayor of San Diego, Richmond, Virginia. So it was about eight to ten of us that had gone on. And I think over the course of the years, they've probably taken close to two to three hundred uh, different mayors and different groups um, to Israel to kind of hear about uh, the culture, how is life, mm -hmm. but also an opportunity to be able to ask any question that we wanted to ask um, at all. Um, but it's mostly educational and a great opportunity to learn. Well, it's great to have a world view and not just, you know, your own mm -hmm. community, but to know how other cultures live. So, yeah. yeah. And when you got home, what did you do? I mean, mm -hmm. how, what's been going on lately? I see you took a picture of the Park Avenue stuff. Is that yeah. progressing just, to your um, liking? Absolutely. Things are moving forward. We are redoing infrastructure here, so there may be a little bit of uh, discomfort yes. while the bridge is closed and the 11th Street Bridge is closed. Looking at the work finally going to be completed at some point with the convention center. A lot of great news, quite a late progress. A lot of great progress is, is happening. So just really good to catch up on that. And then um, just looking at the work being done at North Crossing all the way to mm -hmm. Paradise Estates. Paradise Estates. Um, oh yeah. That? Out, oh, yeah. Up out, north? Uh, out south, eight? south, going south. near, um, oh. uh, not near the Orange School in that in that oh, area. Yeah. So okay. there's a development there all the way back uh, to the north side of town as well. So that's the really good thing about it. Slowly but surely, we're seeing progress taking place across this community. That's when are you going to turn those great lights on on the river? Oh man! On the wait river. till oh, got my lights gosh. on the river. Wait till you see. Oh, it's and crazy. the marina, yes, I love. Sir. I love that that the way that the lights you lights you will, be you, on will, you will River not believe be was now eventually but oh. I mean the lights along the 4th Street bridge the oh, pedestrian yeah. so that whole pedestrian bridge changes colors red white and blue wow. if it's oh, my um, goodness. black history month whatever the situation is it, the colors change and it also oh, works with the lights up along the convention center the water will be the water will light up too what? Yeah. Lit so, up water. Well, oh, I'll yeah. We lit. Water. We lit, huh? We lit, right? I okay, just want yeah. to tell you that now that Travis is down on 4th Street. I saw it. I yes, saw it all. Yes, he got his sign up and all of that. Listen, I'm driving up and down 4th Street like the old days. Right, <laughs> right. Seeing who hanging out downtown mm. because it's just so busy. You see people walking. I love it. We, mm. And today, I, was, I saw Brian's blue plate right, you know, I'm sitting on 4th Street, right straight ahead. All I can see is the, the logo. I love that, too. Talk it's a big about sign. your presence <laughs> down here in downtown. Well, I'm glad to be back on 4th Street. I was uh, spent three years on 4th Street uh, several years ago and liked it very much. Oh, yeah. And, we uh, remember. Glad you first met <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. Your hospitality yeah. was outstanding. Thank we you. loved your uh, I'm happy to be back. Yeah. Really happy to be back. Okay, yeah. Um, Talk about how well, I, I'm just framing it like that because from what I can see, it looks like things are going really great. How well things are going at the Blue Plate. They're going good. Of course, you know, it's pretty easy to make things look perfect on Facebook. Oh, so of course. They, they, they're good. Yeah. Um, and uh, tonight we have a, a great event. Uh, it's the second night of Coach Brett Carmichael's autism uh, awareness uh, uh, benefit, oh. and uh, he's booked the East High uh, Jazz Band to come nice. play a set, Tonight. and he's got a, a funk band that's going to play. We've got a band that starts at six o'clock, so a lot of, a lot tonight? of live music going on tonight. Yeah, oh. it's going to be a great, great okay. night of entertainment. Oh my! Yeah. And uh, if you get a chance to come out and uh, support Brett's cause, he'd sure uh, love to have you. So. All right, and that's tonight. So your restaurant's going to be open. You got some business as usual. Store. Okay, because yeah. we want to, Amelia and I, we're going to go there for dinner, Shaviva and, yeah. and our guests. So, yeah. yeah. Business as usual. And then there's a, a at 8 o'clock, there's a $20 ticket that you can purchase to help support the cause awesome. uh, for the, for the uh, balance of the evening's music. So it's going to be a fun night. It okay. will be. Yeah. Now, you mentioned having been down on 4th Street before when you we're at the your former location. Um, how different is this experience, this restaurant experience? Yes. The restaurant itself is more casual, and uh, uh, and the the whole spirit of it is a little looser. So I like it. Um, most importantly, there are no stairs 
at this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's, and I like that. Everybody fall down the stairs. I like that. No. no, I'm just too old to go up and down stairs. Or up. So they're both they're both wonderful restaurants. Uh, this one is just uh, yeah. It's got two stages. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. It's got 200 seats. It's much bigger. Yes. So. And you got a big show coming next weekend. Is that right? Don't we ever? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I am it. too. Talk I'm, about that. I met a band uh, several years ago. Uh, I was playing a 4th of July party at Fox Ridge Golf Course okay. out in Dyke. This sounds like a good story. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, so the, the fellow that owned the place had booked another band, a second band, and we were going to be the opening band. Well, the second band was from Des Moines, and apparently they had some transportation problems and a couple personnel issues, and they they kind of rolled up late on the on the party, and okay. you know they're all piling out of their caravan, and and uh, it's like, how's this going to go? They took the stage after us, and I was blown away. Okay. Blown away. A fabulous. It was a seven-piece band that night. A Rhythm seven, and blues. Oh yeah. Pop music. Uh, brilliant singers. There's a gal named Tony Williams that mm. kind of heads up the band. It's Bittersweet Nation, okay. they're, and they're from Des Moines. They're going to be at my place next Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. And it's going to be a show. Okay. They've got full sound and lights and production. It's wow. just going to be amazing. Nice. I would call them a show band in some respects because they have a lot of dancing, a lot of moving. Nice. It's just a, it's going to be a great experience. You've seen them before, haven't you, Mayor? That's what I was thinking. I was going to ask. I thought one time was either the lead singer here or someone. So I thought I saw them before. Yeah. So looking forward to it. Anybody that gets a chance to come to the show, it's a free show. Uh, there's no cover charge. You got to dance, though, right? You can't you gotta, get in you unless dance. you dance. You, you, have, to, free if you, you dance. have to be dancing I'm as you dance walk up to the, the building. I'm going to dance all the way in, all the way out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be dancing. So, yeah, that sounds great, Brian. What's her name, the lead singer? Tony Williams. Tony Williams. We have a, a poster. Nation. Bittersweet Nation. We have a poster on our Facebook page, so go look at that and find it out, you know, for a reminder. So mm -hmm. you don't forget, and we'll keep it in your face because we want to see you there next Friday, Thursday and Next Thursday Friday and Friday, yeah. At Brian's Blue Plate, where you can go fill up. He got a plate this big. And you fill up the whole plate. Mayor, have you eaten a Brian? I have. I and I'm have. telling you, you don't leave hungry if you do. No, it's not you their don't. Fault. No, you, there's, there's a to-go box in your future when you come to my exactly. place. Exactly. <laughs> and so much, so much uh, hospitality and everything. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian, for um, talking to us today and being here. What a pleasure. It's like old times. Yeah, it is. Except really. we don't drink wine anymore. No, I think. we don't. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to get that started again no. at least once a month. And thank you, Mayor, from coming for your busy from your busy schedule to hang out with us. Talk about Tara T Thomas right quick. We got to get her down here. Again. Yeah, you have to. Tara She's started uh, three stuff. weeks ago, and uh, she gave some analytics already. I think we've increased our connection with the community over three hundred percent. Wow! Um, thousands of people are tuning in, and then you know, so it's good that we're making that connection with the community, but it's also good because there's a lot of stars that work here that don't get attention. Mm -hmm. People never hear about them, but they work so hard every day to make this city a great city, so she's highlighting them as well, so we're excited. That's right, you're doing a great job. We're learning more about the city operations just from hanging know. out down here. Absolutely. We sure appreciate our yeah. seat on this show. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the best birthday people. Oh, Ed has comments. Thank you, Ed. Just to wrap up the show, we got a few people saying hello. Deborah Hodges Harmon says hello. Hey, Jesse Dad. Cosby, hey. number one fan. Oh, All right. yes. Lorianne Dale Dad. says hey, y'all. Hey, OD. Yeah. Chanel Berry says hey, y'all. Hey, Chanel. Hey, Abibi says oh, wow. hello. All right. All right. Yes, she's from out of town. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. Well, thank you, guys. And we got some great birthday people, Shaviva. Who That's right. are they? That's right. We've got Eddie Cables. Karen Leonard, Hannah Kinney, Timmy Brown Powers, mm -hmm. Marilyn DeCoster. Hey, Marilyn, happy birthday. Yes. And Robbie Carter. Hey, happy oh, birthday. Yeah. We have Carolyn Stevenson, yes. Peta Agvese, Vicki Butler, Mike Robb, Mike oh. Robinson, yes. Dawn Boone, and Yvette Ferguson. All right. And we have hey, a Yvette. real singer. I know we have a real I mean, not that you do. <laughs> singer. I've been practicing. Okay. That's how mm -hmm. I started singing. Been around the world. Bye, bye, bye. We'll give her a solo. We'll follow your lead. Uh, no. <laughs>
Let's let Brian do something special. Why didn't you bring your guitar? Can you just play the table? I don't know why I didn't bring my guitar. <laughs> I have brought my guitar before. Yes. I, think, I was here. I yeah, brought yes. my guitar before. <laughs> well, no, it was here everywhere. <laughs> Been around the world. <laughs> okay, Brian, do something for us. Because, you know, singers like to be put on the spot. Birthday people. For the birthday people? For the birthday people. The birthday people. And people. us. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Happy birthday, all you birthday people. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh right. okay. so sentimental. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. Thank yeah, you I can so save much. my voice, right? No, because we're still going to do no, it. I'm no. sure you would agree. You couldn't fit more perfectly <laughs> in the Have a World Party. On the day you came to be. Happy birthday to you. Come on, Brian. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Come on, audience. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Till the fat lady sings. Or till they Who pull, the fat the, lady? Or till they pull <laughs> that button in the back and say it's oh, showing. Till Agnes comes out like, <laughs> all right, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Shaviva. Oh, you're thank taking you. Rocky. A, yeah, you're welcome. And you're taking a trip, so this yes, is it for I you. Am. Next yes, I am. Yes, I will not be here next Friday, but I will definitely be watching. I'll be. Um, in Phoenix. Awesome. Yeah. And until next time, we want to encourage our viewers to do more stuff that makes you awesome. That's like right. Like Mayor our Hart. Mayor Hart and, and, and like Brian, Brian Singh. Sing. both of you. Oh, and because <laughs> it makes us all look good. good. Yes, See indeed. you next week. If it's Friday, it's, it's North and Update. All right. <laughs> next time. Okay. Yeah.